Hello Pisces, welcome to a love reading. We're gonna be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love and what you can expect next, who you might be dealing with. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign any other sign of significance. Sometimes those messages can resonate more. <clears throat> I have all of the playlists for each of the zodiac signs linked in the description box so you can check out those messages. There's also information there on personal readings, my website, and everything that you would wanna know is in the description box. All right, so let's see for Pisces. For angels, guides. What messages or guidance do you have for Pisces regarding love? See what you can expect, Pisces. Five of Swords. Okay. Death River, Scorpio energy, and the Star, Aquarius energy. Okay. Where's all of this headed? Page of Cups, Two of Swords, the World Reverse. Overall energy is the Two of Pentacles reverse. Hmm. Well, let me get some oracles as well. Well, the world reverse is telling me that something's slow to close or begin. There could be a lack of closure here or something that just hasn't fully completed. Death reverse also tells me kind of similar energy here. Almost like something has been slow to change or end or is blocked from changing or ending. Someone could be resisting an ending or a change, you know, not trying to avoid it. Five of Swords tells me something's going on in a connection or when it comes to love, there's problems. <laughs> so I'm going to try to see what that's all about. Page of Cups is here in the near future. So possibility of somebody apologizing for whatever this Five of Swords is or just expressing their feelings to you. So let's see what we get. What, what's coming Pisces way? in love abundance blessings and prosperity sensitive responsive and perceptive burning passion and what's this happy ending okay so you got two cards for like happy endings um abundance what's this and closed off can't really see it, but there it is. Hmm. Pisces, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like something's off. Um, trying to figure out what, what that could be. Um, because I feel like there's something that's not very clear here. Uh, it's almost like this, this happy ending and this abundance. I don't see it in the cards. I mean, the star is here. So there's, you know, energy for love, hope, faith, renewal. Let's get some clarity. How about we do that? Let's clarify these energies for Pisces. Let's clarify these energies for Pisces. Let's start with the overall energy, this Two of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? What's this about? Five of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, there's something here that, um, I don't know, I sense like a block. I don't know, the Two of Swords is also kind of telling me that, but okay, tell me about the Two of Pentacles reverse. Let me not get ahead of myself. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, Four of Cups and then the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone dropped the ball. And that's why they're in this Five of Pentacles energy. Um, why is the Five of Swords here? What's this? Tower. Wow, yeah. The Emperor, Aries, Energy, and the Queen of Wands. Someone, um, a, a tower happened. 
So I'm speaking to a Pisces where something unexpected, something erupted, some sort of reveal happened. And it affected two people. I have the Emperor and the Queen of Wands here. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the world. Okay, so I feel like this tower is bringing something better. What is this? The Six of of Wands wanted to pop up there. So why is death reverse? Why is the death card reverse? Ace of Wands. Why is death reverse? Okay, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's something that has a lot of potential here. There's something that is turning around here for you, Pisces, or could turn around. But for whatever reason or another, you know, there's a delay or a block. It could be that someone in this connection, I don't know if this is an existing connection, an old connection. I don't see it in the cards, but I feel like... A tower happened or needs to happen and I feel like someone's fighting it and I don't think that fighting it or resisting it is going to do anything because I feel like it was meant to happen like there's an opportunity a new beginning that could happen here and I, I feel like you possibly sense this or know about this already what can you tell me about this star Why is this star here? The moon. There you are, Pisces. Someone has faith despite the doubt or the confusion. Maybe this is something that you just cannot see. The high priestess, page of pentacles, ace of wands. Someone possibly just cannot see that this is on the other side of this tower. Tell me about the star. Page of wands. Oh, yeah. Tell me about the star. The lovers, Gemini energy. So, and then there's the Knight of Wands. So Pisces, well, all I can say is, I don't know what the heck happened. I don't know what this tower is about. I think it was conflict here with some other person. I think somebody dropped the ball in the middle of all this. This King of Pentacles, perhaps. Um, But I feel like you just don't understand why this happened, but you will. You don't understand why the tower happened or what, whatever came out of this tower, you don't quite understand. But you don't need to understand it. All you need to do is have hope and faith that things will work out because it's showing up here. It might take some time, but the Two of Swords and the World Reverse, I still get the sense of someone being guarded against this or blocking this new beginning from happening but it it needs to happen for you and if this isn't you flip it for your for your person but i feel like someone just needs to have faith that this exactly the way that things are happening is how they were meant to happen and it's going to bring about something great so let's look at this page of cups what's this page of cups about why is this page of cups here the magician why is the page of cups here wow the wheel of fortune of the magician what was i just talking about something that is meant to happen that's the wheel of fortune an opportunity that doesn't come around every day but when it does it definitely sets things in motion someone here i feel is inviting a wheel of fortune in their life or taking an opportunity and running with it Tell me about this page of cups. Can I get one more? Maybe spirit is giving you this. And there's the death card again. Scorpio energy. An ending is involved. A change is involved here. And I feel like someone just has to embrace that. Or that's the only way to get this page of cups is for there to be an ending in a situation that you might find yourself in Pisces or your person might find themselves in. 
this is a choice that someone needs to make but i feel like with the four of cups here the five of pentacles <clears throat> the two of swords here death reverse five of swords it's like someone's not quite sure if they should accept this because maybe they are dealing with a lot right now or maybe they're just so overwhelmed with what's going on that they can't see outside of their situation tell me about the two of swords what's this two of swords wow the two of cups the king of swords justice libra energy and the three of cups so i feel like someone is blocked or undecided there's the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck maybe this is someone that's closed off they're not really sharing how they feel or they have a decision to make about a partnership maybe they had to choose one person out of two i see that as well the justice card here could mean that there is a legal decision that's involved here or just something that someone needs to look at objectively without emotion this is the logical decision you know it's almost like there could be a battle between what someone wants to do and what they have to do or there is an exchange if you want to have your two of cups that means you have to make a judgment call justice or have an ending death i feel like this is going to take some time because the world is reversed here what's the world doing here reverse why is the world yeah four of swords no action no communication or someone doing a lot of thinking and planning strength leo energy tell me about the world reverse maybe courage is needed or they just need to be strong to see this through oh wow ace of cups yeah i feel like this is what's on the other side of you the ace of wands or on the other side of this world reverse if the world were upright there would be an ace of wands ace of cups wheel of fortune energy now pisces i don't know if this is you um or your person or a mix of both of you so what i mean by that is i don't know if you're the one that has to make an ending or or have an ending or make a decision that leads to an ending or a change in your life in order to invite new love in or if your person needs to do that or if there's a change or an ending that has to happen in your current connection for new love to happen or for this new beginning to happen you know take it as it resonates because i'm getting the energy here of abundance prosperity a happy ending for you somewhere down the line but it comes at a price or there's a cost involved here sacrifice or or an exchange that has to happen you cannot get you, you can't get it all let's see what we can find out about this other person that you're dealing with oops spirit can you tell me about the person that pisces is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person's energy this person that pisces is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this other person's energy what do we need to know about this other person's energy let's see what we get for this other person let's move these up eight of wands queen of swords reverse justice oh justice shows up again justice is important here libra energy eight of swords reverse at the bottom of the deck so someone overcoming a mental prison they find themselves in overcoming fear overcoming being stuck Let me get another energy for this person. Let me get some more energy for this person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? 
about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person? Pure seduction. What else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this other person? Divine feminine. Divine timing at the bottom of the deck. So whoever this is, I feel like the connection is very strong. Maybe there's a physical connection. We do have burning passion here as well. This person desires a divine feminine or desires their divine feminine or has some sort of desire tied to another person. I feel like when it, we, when it comes to this person's energy, I don't think they're ready to say something with the Queen of Swords reverse or they're, they've kept something from you. Um, Queen of Swords Reverse could also be someone that has been deceiving themselves, deceiving others. But I don't want to jump into that because justice is here. So justice with the Queen of Swords Reverse, they don't go together. You know, the, justice is not, justice is all about what's fair, what's right, what is um, just. So... You, you wouldn't have justice with deception, for example, unless this is someone that is a little bit in denial. From, from what I can gather here, this is someone that with the Eight of Wands, I feel wants to say something or do something, um, but they just haven't been able to really open up. I think that there's a decision, an objective decision here with justice or a legal matter that this person needs to address. It's like they need to come forward or they need to come clean in the right way. Um, you know, and I, I don't know. I get the sense that this is harder to do for this person. And this could be somebody that you are have already dealt with, are currently dealing with, or could be dealing with in the future. I feel like what this person wants is to have something be balanced fair and right but there's a block i'm trying to figure out what what that queen of swords reverse really represents for this particular person then we have divine timing at the bottom of the deck so the wheel of fortune is here divine timing is here the lovers is here the two of cups is here so there could be people two people that are being guided towards each other you know I'm heartbroken. What else can you tell me about this person's energy? What else can you tell me about this person's energy towards Pisces? I'm ready to open up. Exactly. This person has not opened up to you fully. And I think that's what this Queen of Swords reverse represents. Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.